Welcome back to Prognosis. Today we're going to talk about the patient registration. So if you go to any patient on your homepage and you select this three dot button, it will take you to the patient details or patient registration right from that screen, which is going to give you the specific patient that you clicked on. For today's video though, we're going to go to patient and register. And this is going to give me the patient that I was just on. But if I want to search for a patient, I can use the magnifying glass and I'll bring up the search list of all the patients. I can start typing in the last name of a patient that I wanted to see, and then I can select my patient. If I want to add a brand new patient, I want to go down here to the add new so that all the fields are blank when I start. Or if I'm on a patient and I want to add a new patient, I can use this add new button here, which will make all the fields blank. You never want to start uh, over ty typing over a patient because then you're overriding that patient. Over here, the top portion of this is just patient details. It's the basic information of the patient, the patient's name, birthday, social, sex, that kind of thing. Over here, we have some icons. This first icon is a sc card scanner. If you have a card scanner in your office, you can scan the driver's license and it will add the address information as well as the copy of the driver's license and the photo box. This is a preferred pharmacy button. So you can add a patient's preferred pharmacy into in here. You can add multiple pharmacies. You just simply click the button to look up the pharmacies, check the ones that you want, and then they would become part of the patient's preferred pharmacy. This button here is a print label button. So if you have a Dymo label printer connected to your system, you can print out the address label for this patient. This is just a patient info card, so it's just giving you the basic information. This is sibling management. So if you have patients that maybe your pediatric office and you have brothers and sisters and you can copy over information, you can connect the siblings all together. And then this is a UDF field. So UDF stands for user defined field, where you can create your own questions that need to be collected while you are doing your registration. And you can have them in this field. Now you can relabel this field to whatever you'd like. We also have a button here that's a sexual orientation and gender identity. So when you come in here, you can you have different options of sexual orientation that you might want to add. Over here, we have the address tab, which is basically the patient's address. We have the contact information. So this would be their employer or emergency contact, their spouse. We also have uh, preferred other information. So we have the preferred language, race, and ethnic group. Uh, we also have a field for their driver's license and driver's license state. The referral source here is how did they hear about your clinic? So did they hear about you from the newspaper or somewhere else? You have your religion and uh, patient type. Patient type can be used for a lot of different things. And then you have your med history consent. So medication, this is medication history. So uh, they have to give consent and then you can pull two years of medication history up. And you also have your vaccine button. This is for... Uh, pediatric offices that participate in the Vaccine for Children's program. Under the Physicians tab, you're going to be able to coordinate care with other physicians. So you can choose the type of provider it is, and then choose the provider from the uh, referring provider list. And then also, if they're not on that list, you can go add them on the fly. The billing info is going to show them the uh, guarantor information, as well as the outstanding uh, information for the patient's uh, outstanding receivables. Right here, we have a hyperlink to the patient, which will also bring up the patient's statement. So if you need, if they had an outstanding balance and you, you could print that out and give that to them now. You also have the ledger button where you can pull up a ledger and see what's going on with that patient account. Over here, you'll see some icons. The first icon will take you to that patient's encounter. The second icon is your insurance information. The third icon is implanted devices. So if a patient has an implanted device, you can click on the button, you can hit the add new button and then enter their device uh, number and it pulls in the information for you. We have a case management screen. 
We have uh, alerts. So if you needed to put alerts on a patient, you could. This is patient notes, billing notes, um, appointment uh, history. This is deny access. So if you needed to deny access to a particular patient, you can come in here and you can deny access to other users in your system so that not everybody would be able to view this patient's information. We also have our legal forms. So these are any consent forms the patient needs to sign. You can select your consent form. You can send it to a tablet for them to sign it and all they would see was this consent form. They'd be able to check it, sign it. Any consent forms that patient has signed will be under the sign side. And then over here, this is access to the patient portal. So um, if the patient forgets their username or you need to reset their password, you can come in here and you can put in their user, uh, tell them what their username is. Go ahead and reset their password or just if their email is in the system, you can go ahead and hit auto generate and it'll send them an email with that password. Over here, you have a photo box where you can put in the patient's photo. Um, if you're doing a scanning the uh driver's license. The driver's license would automatically come over here, but you can hit the attach button and attach a photo, or you can come over here to the print button and you can print out the photo. That is the patient registration screen. Thank you for watching.